Receiving your order. Your door shipment includes door slabs, door frames and corresponding hardware. Before installation, check the hardware pieces against the packing list. For installation, you will need a screw gun, screwdriver, level, shims and wood screws. Each door frame arrives wrapped in protective plastic and other packing materials. Carefully remove the packaging and check that the door and door frames are in perfect condition. Now you're ready to begin installation. Installation. Take the hinge side of the aluminium door frame L piece and place it against the wood 2x4 framing of your door opening. Using standard wood shims, secure the aluminium frame to the 2x4 framing, level, plumb and square with wood screws. Use the pre-drilled holes on the door frames to secure the frames to the 2x4s. Do not mount the horizontal aluminium header piece yet. Now install the hinges directly into the door slab. Once the hinges have been installed, the door can be hung onto the vertical aluminium door frame that has already been installed. The door should be able to swing open and close freely. Now it's time to install the handles. Use the supplied Allen key to separate the door handles. Stick the spindle through the pre-drilled hole in the door and thread the spindle through the handle on the other side of the door. Then secure with provided screws. Cover the mounting plates with decorative rosettes and secure with the Allen key. If the door is a privacy door, then you install the turnpiece mechanism through the pre-drilled hole in the door. With the door in the open position, take the vertical strike side of the aluminium frame and line it up against the door. The 45 degree cuts on the top of the vertical strike side of the frame should line up with the corresponding 45 degree cut of the horizontal header piece of the frame. Shim the strike side of the frame against the 2x4 the same way as you did on the hinge side. Once the frame is secured, the door is installed. Now line up the horizontal header piece Shim and screw the top horizontal aluminium header piece into the wood 2x4 header above. Proceed to cut off the wood shims sticking out of the aluminium frame piece so the plaster finishing contractor can have a clean surface to do his finished work. Your door installation is now complete. The following finishing instructions are only a recommendation for your finisher. Please consult with your contractor for proper finished plaster work. For the plaster installation, you will need a level, a mud mixer attachment for your drill, putty knife, mud pan, mesh tape, and joint compound. Flush to the wall, front side. Apply mesh to the joint where the 2x4 buck meets the aluminium frame. Once the tape is applied over the transition joint, you can begin to float the first layer of compound over the entire area. The edge of the aluminium frame is cut with a 45 degree angle to form a mud ring to terminate the compound. When you finish the compound against the 45 degree mud ring, the result will give you a perfectly straight, razor thin line. Make sure that you don't put too much plaster on at one time. The proper finishing technique requires two to three hand passes in order for the plaster to build up and cure properly without cracking. Once you've built up the plaster, float to the sides in order to present a perfectly flush appearance of the door with the adjoining wall. Please understand that on the front flush side of the door, the installer should have installed the door level and plumb with the furthest point out proud from the wall. This is so your plaster finisher will have a margin to float the plaster around the frame to level it off against the wall. Remember, the door is always installed perfectly straight, level and plumb. Flush to the wall, rear inset side. The 2x4 buck needs to be shimmed out enough to give a base for a sheetrock presentation jam. On the rear of the aluminium frame, place a piece of sheetrock into the pocket found on the back of the frame. The sheetrock piece should extend out perpendicular from the frame, terminating at the sheetrock line flush on the back or inset side of the flush door. Using a piece of corner bead, form a 90 degree angle between the sheetrock presentation jam 
and the flush side of the wall. Using either paper or mesh tape, begin taping and float compound to create your finished edge. This generally needs to be done as a two to three layer process, allowing each layer of compound to set prior to installing the next. Only a thin layer of plaster should be applied over the presentation jam. It should not be flushed with the aluminum profile. Your door finishing is now complete. You're now ready to paint the walls.